Our first contender in the black chair tonight is Ben Holmes, a customer service advisor from Salford. He's answering questions on Doctor Who. Kevin Howell is a delivery driver from Kent. His specialist subject, Concord, the plane. Next, Tony McConnell, an e-learning software developer from OMA on the band The Clash. And Diane Hartman, a retired teacher from Gloucestershire on the Elizabethan statesman Sir Francis Walsingham. Welcome to Mastermind with me, John Humphreys. Four contenders, as always, all of them probably wondering exactly why they ever said they wanted to do this. It's not so much the questions themselves, but the pressure under which they have to answer them. The clock rules. Two minutes on their chosen subject, two and a half minutes on general knowledge and no real time to think. So let us put them to the test and ask our first contender to join us, please. And your name is? Ben Holmes. Your occupation? Customer Service Advisor. And your chosen subject? Doctor Who, 2005 to present. In two minutes, starting now, Doctor Who reappeared on BBC television in 2005 after a gap of almost 19 years. Who played the Doctor in the first new series? Christopher Eccleston. Yep. What two-word phrase occurs repeatedly throughout the episodes of series one and is the title of the penultimate episode? Bad Wolf. Yep. In the episode Daleks in Manhattan, the TARDIS lands next to a New York landmark in November 1930. Which landmark? Statue of Liberty. It was. Who plays the waitress Astrid Peth, who works with the Doctor to help prevent the interstellar liner Titanic from crashing into the Earth in the Christmas special Voyage of the Damned? Kylie Minogue. Yep. In Human Nature, the Doctor takes on the persona of John Smith, the teacher at a boys' school in 1913. He gives the boys a lesson at the start of the episode. What battle is it about? Waterloo. Yep. Which diamond plays a crucial part in the series two episode, Tooth and Claw? Koh -Nor. Yes. With what weapon does the Doctor fight Robin Hood on a narrow bridge across a stream in the episode Robot of Sherwood? Spoon. Yes. Who played the Doctor's companion Amy Pond when Matt Smith became the 11th Doctor? Karen Gillan. Yes. What is the name of the creature who searches the universe for the Doctor on behalf of Davros, the creator of the Daleks, who is dying? Colony Sar. Yes. In a Series 7 episode, what's the name of the town in the American West where the TARDIS accidentally lands in the 19th century? Mercy. Yes. Under what ancient monument do the Doctor and Amy Pond discover the Pandorica, a fabled prison that holds the most feared thing in all the universe? Stonehenge. Yes. What is the title of the Series 4 episode in which the Doctor and his companion Donna find themselves at a dinner party where one of the guests is Agatha Christie? The Unicorn and the Wasp. Yep. Which character welcomes the newly dead to the promised land throughout Series 8? She is later revealed to be a female incarnation of the Doctor's old adversary, the Master. Missy. Yes. What is the name of the paradox that the Doctor explains to the audience by referring to the question of Beethoven's existence in the Series 9 episode, Before the Flood? The bootstrap paradox. Yes. The Doctor and his companions wake up from amnesia into various reality television and game shows. In which show does Rose Tyler appear where those eliminated are apparently disintegrated by the android? The weakest link. Is correct. You have them all right. No passes. You've scored, Ben. 15 points. Thank you. And our next contender, please. And your name is? Kevin Howell. Your occupation? Delivery driver. And your chosen subject? Concorde, the plane. In two minutes, starting now. Which French aircraft manufacturer formed a consortium with BAC in 1962 to develop the supersonic passenger airplane Concorde? Sud Aviation. Yep. In 1967, the Minister of Technology announced that Concorde would be spelt with an E at the end because it represented excellence, England, Europe and Entente. Who was he? Tony Benn. Yep. How many of the 20 Concords that were built in Britain and France between 1965 and 79 entered commercial service? 16. 14. Concorde was initially refused permission to fly to the United States because of concerns over noise. To which American airport did it eventually fly in May 1976? Washington, Dallas. Yes. What name is given to the type of curve used in the design of the slender delta wing of Concorde that was developed by Dietrich Kuchermann? 
Okay, you've cut. Yes. The crash of a Concorde near Paris in 2000 was caused by the explosion of a tyre that was punctured by a metallic strip that had fallen from a DC-10. Which airline owned the DC-10? Continental. Yes. From 1979 to 1980, the route from London to Bahrain was extended to which city-state? Singapore. Yep. Who was the pilot of the maiden flight of the Concorde 001 prototype from Toulouse in March 1969? André Turcat. Yes, there was an interior refit of the British Airways Concords after the 2000 Paris crash. Which famous designer carried this out in partnership with the company Factory Design? Conran. Yes, Terence Conran. What Tupolev supersonic plane was known as Concordsky because of its similarity and appearance to Concorde? TU-144. Yes, one of the popular charter flights was the Christmas flight to a city in Finland that's the official home of Santa Claus. What city? Pass. Concorde had accidents in 1989, 92 and 2003 that involved the breakup in flight of what part of the aircraft? The fin. Yes, the rudder. The final flight of a Concorde took place in November 2003 from Heathrow to an airfield that was also the site where the British Concords were assembled. Which airfield? Filton. Yeah. The Queen's first flight in Concorde was in 1977. From what Caribbean island did she fly? Barbados. Barbados is correct. You had just uh, one pass, Kevin. The uh, official home of Santa Claus is Rovaniemi. Oh. I didn't know that either. But there you go, we do now. You have scored, Kevin, 12 points. <laughs> and our next contender, please. And your name is? Tony McConnell. Your occupation? E-learning content developer. And your chosen subject? The Clash. The Clash in two minutes. Here we go. Which classic Clash song opens with the line, Now the king told the boogeymen you have to let that ragger drop. Combat rock. Rock the Casbah. The band signed a worldwide deal in January 1977 with a £100,000 advance against royalties with which major record label? CBS. Yep. The pink and green lettering of the cover artwork for their 79 album, London Calling, was inspired by another artist's debut album. Which artist? Elvis Presley. Yes. Which band was Joe Strummer a member of when he was approached by the manager, Bernie Rhodes, and invited to join The Clash? The 101ers. Yep. What was the name of the Vietnam War veteran for whom the band played a benefit concert in Cleveland, Ohio, in February 1979? Pass. Which American producer, known for his work with Blue Oyster Cult, completed the production of The Clash's second album, Give Em Enough Rope? Sunday Perlman. Yep. What was the name of the New York club where the band had a residency for over two weeks in May to June 1981? Bonds. Yep. The band recorded their 1977 top 40 single, Complete Control, with which reggae producer? Lee Scratch Perry. Yep. On which 1981 album by Mick Jones's then girlfriend, Ellen Foley, did The Clash play on all the backing tracks and provide several songs? The Spirit of St. Louis. Yep. What is the title of the last studio album to feature the classic Clash lineup of Strummer, Jones, Simon and Hedon? It was released in 1982. Combat Rock. Yeah. In May 1982, Topper Hayden left the band officially because of a difference of political direction. Which former member of the band replaced him? Uh, Terry James. Yeah. Which music journalist wrote in an early review in the NME in 1976, The Clash are the kind of garage band who should be speedily returned to their garage, preferably with the motor running? Charles Charmory. Yes. What is the title of the track that opened side one of their 1980 triple album, Sandinista? No, you're right. The Magnificent Seven. Joe Strummer was arrested in May 1980 after he hit an unruly member of the audience over the head with his guitar. In which city? Edinburgh. It was Hamburg. You have uh, one pass, Tony. Uh, the name of that Vietnam War veteran for whom the band played a benefit concert was Larry McIntyre. You have scored ten points. And our final contender, please. And your name is? Diane Hardman. Your occupation? Retired teacher. And your chosen subject? Francis Walsingham. Francis Walsingham in two minutes. Here we go. Sir Francis was the principal secretary to Queen Elizabeth I. His Protestant sympathies were greatly strengthened while he was a student at which university? 
Cambridge. Yep. Walsingham chose to live on the continent rather than risk potential religious persecution at home during the reign of which monarch? Mary Tudor. Yep. By what nickname was Walsingham's assistant, Thomas Norton, known because of his supposed enthusiasm for the use of a particular instrument of torture? The Ratmaster. Yes. Which palace in Surrey gave its name to the treaty that Walsingham and others negotiated with the Dutch in 1585? None such. Yes. What was the name of the document that was devised by William Cecil and Walsingham in 1584? Its signatories threatened Mary Queen of Scot and anyone else implicated with death if Elizabeth was killed. Bond of association. Correct. Walsingham exposed the Babington plot in which Thomas Babington and his friends tried to free Mary and kill Elizabeth I. Who was sent to kill Elizabeth? Um... Savage. Yes. John Savage. Walsingham married twice, each time to widows. What was the forename of his second wife, whom he married in 1566? Ursula St. Barb. Yes. Which treaty between England and Scotland was negotiated by Walsingham and his associates in 1586 as a defensive alliance that safeguarded the Protestant religion in both states? Berwick. Yep. Which English vice admiral praised Walsingham with the words, You have fought more with your pen than many have in our English navy fought with their enemies? Henry Seymour. Correct. In which city did Walsingham witness the slaughter of Protestant Huguenots in the St. Bartholomew's Day Massacre? Paris. Yes. What was the particular skill of Thomas Felipez, one of Walsingham's assistants? It was instrumental in the downfall of Mary Queen of Scots. Codebreaker. Yes. Whose name was given to the Spanish plot to invade England in 1584? It was investigated by Walsingham and led to the execution of the principal conspirator. Babington. Throckmorton. What was the former title of the Duke of Anjou, the younger brother of the French King Henry III, whom Elizabeth I was keen to marry? The union was blocked by Walsingham. Alençon. Correct. In which cathedral was Walsingham buried in 1590? At St Paul's. It was indeed the old St Paul's Cathedral. No passes, Diane. You have 13 points. So oh, that's the uh, end of the first round, a good close round. Let's have a look at all the scores. In fourth place, 10 points, Tony McConnell. Third place, 12 points, Kevin Howell. Second place, 13 points, Dan Hardman. First place, 15 points, Ben Holmes. So it is the general knowledge round now and if there's a tie at the end of it then the number of passes is taken into account and the person with the fewer passes is the winner and if they are tied on passes as well there has to be a tie break. So let us get on with it and ask Tony to join us again please. And uh, you start this round Tony with ten points. Two and a half minutes of course for general knowledge so plenty of time to catch up. Here we go. Which sign of the zodiac is represented by a ram? Aries. Yep. Which island, lying about 90 miles off the Florida coast, is the largest island in the Caribbean? Cuba. Yep. Who headed the nine-man team of Chicago law officers known as the Untouchables, formed specifically to investigate and harass Al Capone? Al Ness. Yep. What is the title of the 2016 film directed by Justin Lin in which Captain Kirk and his crew are marooned on a distant planet when the Enterprise is destroyed? Star Trek Dark Star. No, Star Trek Beyond. Who was the first of the three kings who ruled England in 1066? The other two were Harold II and William I. Edward III. Edward the Confessor. What word for a dinner jacket comes from the name of a once fashionable country club in New York where it was first worn? Tuxedo. Yep. Which bird in whose guise Zeus seduced Leda is featured in Salvador Dali's 1949 painting Leda Atomica? Albatross. Swan. What is the name of the Dutch dance player who's sometimes known by his initials MVG? Pass. In which Benjamin Britten opera, based on a story by Henry James, is a country house haunted by the ghosts of two former servants, Peter Quint and Miss Jessel? The Outsiders. The Turn of the Screw. What name is given to the layer of fat around the bodies of marine animals such as seals and whales? Blubber. Yep. What is the name of the former political party leader who married Glenys Parry in 1967? Their son Stephen became a Labour MP in 2015. Neil Kinnock. Yep. In February 1991, which television cartoon family topped the UK singles charts with Do the Bartman? The Simpsons. Yes. What natural lake, the largest in Wales, is the home of a fabled monster called Teggy, an affectionate form of the lake's Welsh name, Llyn Tegid? Snowden. Bala. What region in South America, now part of Guyana, gave its name to a type of yellowish-brown sugar that originated there? Um, 
Madeira. Demerara. Which actor, writer and presenter played the Sheriff of Nottingham in the 2006 BBC version of Robin Hood? Uh, pass. What extravagant creations made by her son David was Gertrude Schilling famous for wearing at Ascot? Hats. Yep. What name from the Latin for to open is given to the opening in a camera lens that allows light to pass through? Aperture. Yes. In which 18th century political satire do the big Indians argue with the little Indians about which end of a boiled egg to break open? Dolores Travel. Yep. Which present day Essex town was the capital of the pre Roman king Cunobelinus, who has been identified with Shakespeare's Cymbeline? Um, walking. Ah, Colchester. You had two passes. Tony, uh, Keith Allen played the Sheriff of Nottingham, and very villainously he did it too. And that Dutch dance player was Michael van Gerwen. So there you go. You have scored 20 points. <laughs> and now Kevin again, please. And, uh, Kevin, you... Start this round with 12 points, and as you have just seen, 20 is the score to beat as we speak. Two and a half minutes, here we go. What sugary liquid produced in plants was also the name of the drink of the gods in classical mythology? Nectar. Yep, The Shepherd's Crown, first published in 2015, is the 41st and last book in which fantasy series? Discworld. Yes. In April 1964, a children's programme was the first show to be broadcast on BBC Two after a power cut cancelled the opening night's gala performance. What was the children's programme? Play school. Yeah. Norfolk Black and Bronze are popular breeds of which table bird? Turkey. Yep. The host men were a merchant guild in Newcastle upon Tyne who controlled the selling and shipping of a commodity particularly associated with the city. What commodity? Pass. Who replaced Paul Jones as the lead singer with Manfred Mann in 1966? Pass. The Red Queen by Anne Perkins is a 2003 biography of which former Labour MP? Pass. Which country built the Metaxas line as a defensive fortification along its border with Bulgaria? Romania. Greece. Which city in North Ireland, New Zealand, was founded in 1840 and named after the earldom of George Eden, the British First Lord of the Admiralty? Auckland. Yes. Which inert gas has a boiling point and freezing point that are lower than that of any other known substance? Argon. Helium. What name is usually given to a piece of stone carved with a contrasting raised design, especially a head in profile in a piece of jewellery? Cameo. Yes. Which town in southeastern Norway hosted the 1994 Winter Olympics? Pass. What is the name of the dish consisting of thin sheets of pasta layered with a meat sauce or other savoury mixture, topped with a cheese sauce and baked in the oven? Lasagna. Yes. What word for someone who looks after people, animals or buildings comes from the old French for guardian. Curator. Warden. The surname of one of the apostles in the Bible is thought to come from the Hebrew for man of Kerioth, a town in ancient Judea. An alternative is that it comes from the Latin for murderer or dagger man. Who was the apostle? Don't know. Judas Iscariot. What type of public right of way is shown by a series of green dots on a 1 to 25,000 ordnance survey map and by a series of red dots on a 1 to 50,000 map? Bridleway. A uh, footpath. What is the nationality of Antonio Guterres, who succeeded Ban Ki-moon as UN Secretary General in January 2017? Spanish. Portuguese. Who was the legendary king of the Onondaga tribe of American Indians, whose fictionalised story is the subject of a poem by Longfellow? Hiawatha. Hiawatha is correct. You had uh, four passes, Kevin. Uh, Judas Iscariot was that apostle, thought to come from... Man of Kerioth, but we're not sure about that. Uh, the town in southeastern Norway that hosted the Winter Olympics was Lillehammer. The Red Queen was Barbara Castle. And Mike Diabo uh, replaced Paul Jones as the lead singer with Manfred Mann. You also have a total now of 20 points. <laughs> and now Diane again, please. And you start with 13 points, Diane. The score to beat is still 20. Be sure to get through to the semi-finals. So, here we go. A cardiologist specialises in the study and treatment of diseases of what organ of the body? Heart. Yep. What Italian word that means cool describes a method of painting with watercolours on damp plaster? 
Fredo. Fresco. Their first assignment and back in training are the second and third in a series of seven comedy films released between 1984 and 1994. Which series? Pass. Of the four Gospels, which is the shortest and is considered by many biblical scholars to have been written first? Luke. Mark. Which dog, the largest of the terriers, is named after the Yorkshire River Valley in whose area it was originally Airedale. bred? Airedale is correct. The seismograph was designed to detect and record the intensity of what natural phenomenon? Earthquake. Yes. What is the name of the Labour leader who told the 1960 party conference that he and his allies would fight and fight and fight again to save the party we love? An Iron Bethan? Gate School. Who composed the music for the best-known version of the opera La Boheme, first performed in 1896? Puccini. Yes. Kevin Sim, a former member of the chart-topping pop group Liberty X, was the winner of the 2016 series of which television singing contest? The X Factor. The Voice. During which battle of the Crimean War did the charge of the Light Brigade take place? Balaclava. Yes. What is the name of the Bucharest-born tennis player who was beaten twice in Wimbledon men's singles finals and was known for his on-court histrionics? Nastasi. Yes. Blutwurst, meaning blood sausage, is the German equivalent of a traditional English dish particularly associated with the Manchester area. What dish? Blood pudding. Yep. Which county has a border with Northumberland to the north, Cumbria to the west, North Yorkshire to the south, and has the North Sea to the east? Um, Northumberland. Durham. In bingo, trombones is a popular call for which number? Um, 88. 76. Uh, which architect is credited, alongside Robert Hooke, with designing the monument erected to commemorate the Great Fire of London? Wren. Yes. What is the surname of the television family who live in a high-rise block of council flats called Nelson Mandela House in Peckham? Trotter. Yes. In poetry, what name is given to a stanza of four lines, usually rhyming alternately? A verse. Quatrain. Oh. The parent agency and the person controller, published in 2014 and 15 respectively, are books for children by a comedian and novelist known for his partnership with Frank Skinner. What's his name? A Badil. Yes, David Badil. Which satellite launched on the 10th of July 1962 provided the first transatlantic feed of live television pictures as well as telephone calls and faxes? Telstar. Yes, which Swiss town that overlooks Lake Geneva has hosted an annual jazz and popular music festival since 1967? Lucerne. Montreux. You had uh, one pass, Diane. Their first assignment and back in training, they were the second and third in the series, The Police Academy. You have scored, however, a total now of 24 points. <laughs> and finally, Ben again, please. And, uh, Ben, you start out with 15 points, but the score has gone up to 24, so you've got to get 25 points to guarantee a place in the semi-finals. Here we go, two and a half minutes. What type of animal is Sonic in the video game launched in 1991 as a rival to Super Mario Brothers? Hedgehog. Yep, Muckle John in the reign of Charles I was the last holder of which office his role was to entertain the royal household? Court jester. Yeah. The real name of a pop singer who died in December 2016 was Georgios Kriakos Panayotou. Who was he? George Michael. Yes, what is the literal meaning of the Latin phrase tempus fugit? Time flies. Yep. Fenway Park has been the home venue of which Massachusetts baseball team since 1912? Boston Red Sox. Yes. Who composed the tone poem Also Sprach Zarathustra? The section known as Sunrise features in the film 2001 A Space Odyssey. Ricard Strauss. Yes. Who formally announced her challenge to Jeremy Corbyn for the Labour Party leadership on the 11th of July 2016, but withdrew shortly afterwards to give a clear run to her colleague Owen Smith? Angela Eagle. Yes. What alternative name of Old English origin for a male deer is applied to a red deer stag over five years old? Book. Heart. What name is given in Scotland to a narrow inlet of the sea or a river estuary such as that of the Clyde and the Forth? Firth. Yes. Who wrote the Budgie the Little Helicopter series of books for children? Sarah Ferguson. Yes, Sarah, Duchess of York. What small, deep-coloured citrus fruit is named after a port in Morocco? Tangerine. Yep. Yeah. What was the name of the incompetent Gestapo agent played by John Louis Mansi in the television comedy series Hello, Hello? Her flick. Engelbert von Schmalhausen. On which of the Canary Islands did the artist Cesar Manrique create the Cactus Garden? His house is now the home of the foundation that bears his name. 
Cyprus. Lanzarote. On which Liverpool landmark is the clock known as Great George because it was set in motion at the same moment George V was crowned in June 1911? The Liver Building. Yes. What is the title of the play by Ben Johnson that is set at the annual fair that opened at Smithfield on the 24th of August and was last held in 1855? Pass. Which American film actor who died in 1979 was also known as Duke? John Wayne. Yes. Which businessman skipped bail in May 1993, fled to the Turkish-occupied part of Cyprus and later returned to Britain to face charges of false accounting and theft? Conrad Black. Azil Nadia. The name of which astronomical unit comes from the words parallax and second? Parsec. Yes. The ICPO has its offices in Lyon and its aims include the promotion of cooperation between crime-fighting authorities. How is it better known? Interpol. The Interpol is correct. You had uh, one pass, Ben. The title of the play by Ben Johnson, set at the uh, annual fair that opened at Smithfield in uh, 1855, Bartholomew Fair. However, it matters not because you have a total of 29 points. Thank you. So that's the end of a hard fought contest. Let's have a look at all the scores. In joint third place, 20 points, Kevin Howell and Tony McConnell. Second place, 24 points, Dan Hardman. First place with 29 points, Ben Holmes. Which means that Ben is tonight's winner and he goes through to the semi-finals. Congratulations to him. And if you would like to be a contender in the next series, do go to our website, bbc.co.uk stroke mastermind, and you can follow us on Twitter at Mastermind Quiz. And do join us again next time for more Masterminds. Thanks for watching. Goodbye. <laughs>